Good day everyone, Garage King here, and today I'm going to clean the engine on the Lexus IS250 I bought. I'm going to throw up the link, take a look at this. This is abs this is like all the buildup from underneath, so this is absolutely crazy. Stick around, let's do it. Okay, so first we got to raise the vehicle because obviously when you're washing the engine, we want to make sure there's no belly pan underneath or it's just going to catch all the junk. So we got to take off the belly pan. You're going to need a 10 millimeter socket, uh, some uh, these kind of clippy kind of wrenches that work really well, and just a flathead screwdriver because sometimes these bolts, uh, like look at how rusty they are. And they're actually, some of them are like recessed inside. So you really need to have a decent socket to take them out. But anyway, enough of that. Here's the belly pan. I just took it off the vehicle. There you can see uh, where some of the bolts go. It's actually quite rusty. So when we put it together, we're gonna wanna make sure that we use some anti-seize. So we're gonna lower the vehicle and now we're gonna take a look at this belly pan. And here you go. I'm gonna take a look at this. I'm gonna just zoom in for a bit. This is how filthy it was underneath. Like this is crazy. I cannot believe how much buildup there was in this belly pan. Okay, so enough about the belly pan, you know it is really dirty. So now we're gonna take the car outside, we're gonna start from the top down. So what do we have to do? Of course, we have to undo all of the plastics because we're gonna to need to expose the engine to clean it. Now the only thing is, uh, here I'll take a quick zoom down, we gotta be careful with this and that is the alternator. We wanna make sure that we cover it well. So I have just a little plastic bag here and it's gonna miraculously uh, cover it. So there you can go. You can see I actually worked, uh, you know, to get my hands in there. It's kind of tight. I couldn't film that part, but just make sure that your alternator is covered. That's the part that's actually the most important that you really don't want to get wet. Everything else can kind of get wet. I mean, like don't soak it like crazy, but everything can get wet. Okay. So next up on the docket is to remove these clips. Now they're pretty much everywhere there. I'm actually missing one, but basically you got to take them out and they are a bit of a pain, especially being that it is an older vehicle. So I'm not sure you want to, you know, watch me do the whole thing and I definitely don't want to waste anybody's time. So I'll just speed this part up, but I will slow down to, so you can see how I'm actually taking one out. I, I use this pick and you can see there, I'm just pulling it out just like that and it actually works. And anyway, I found that that's the easiest thing to get these things out because they're recessed. It's really hard with the tools, uh, with the other tool to get it out. I mean, it works a little bit, but I found that little pick just works great. So now once you undo all of these clips and you can just kind of give it a pull and you'll know if you forgot one, believe me, it's going to let you know because it's just not going to want to come off. Other than that, they actually come off pretty easy. And this is how most manufacturers uh, build their cars now. They're just all covered in plastic because they don't want us working on them ourselves, right? Now, don't forget there is one of these screws, one on each side, and you can get to that with uh, a 10 mil socket. But sometimes, you know what, you can even just pull it off because uh, the bolt that it's on is just so badly corroded that it doesn't even hold it anymore. But anyway, that one wasn't too bad. So here you can see we have everything off. Here's a little pan around and you can just see it is absolutely filthy. So I just want to clean this up because I mean, I'm just kind of embarrassed. Don't want to drive around this Lexus when it's looking this dirty. And there you go. Some nice sand there. And you know, it, it looks like this car's actually been at the beach. So the first thing I did was I cleaned the bottom area and you can see just tons of stuff going off. I showed you in the very beginning how much was actually there. I, ha I had to shake it off before I used the hose. And then, hey, don't forget to clean the bolts. So how I got them really clean, because I didn't really want to go to Lexus and get robbed, was I just took some muriatic acid uh, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. And it actually did quite the number. You can see it, it's bubbling there. And the end result was they were actually quite clean and uh, usable here. I'll show you another shot of them dried up. There you can see they're uh, they're good, but don't forget to put anti-seize on them because now there is absolutely no coating on them. So you gotta get anti-seize on those bolts. So right now I'm going to be doing the actual wash uh, with some water and I don't wanna bore you with my voice because you've already uh, been grateful enough uh, to, you know, to listen to me the whole time. You can see there's the bottom. So everything that falls off is gonna run underneath the car and it's just gonna go on the road. So let me put on some music and uh, let's get to cleaning this car.
So you can see we have a clean and just be sure to use a good engine degreaser. Anyone will pretty much do here. You can see I'm pulling off this rubber fastener from the intake. Uh, this vehicle has two. Now I'll pop it right back in here. Sometimes if you forget to do this and you go to put your cover back on, what will happen is when you're idling, it's going to vibrate and you're going to hear a weird rattling sound. So just make sure that those fasteners are in and this way your cover will be good. Now we can't leave it looking like this. So we want to use some trim protector. I use this auto glim stuff I bought on sale, but you can use whatever you want. So I'm just going to speed this up. I mean, it's under the hood anyway, but this stuff actually worked really good and it was pretty cheap. And there you can see there is the final, you know, how it looks. So the next thing we have to discuss is clips because with these Lexuses, they break. Here you can see I've used a bunch of these clips I found cheap. They actually have a Phillips screw and you put them in and then, uh, you know, you just twist them in with a Phillips screwdriver and they look good and they hold, but if you have to take them out, they break. So they're absolute junk. Don't buy them if you want it to look, if you want your vehicle to look like this, buy these ones, use these ones. Uh, I found them on Amazon and they actually work. So these are the ones that I would recommend using. I would not use the ones that you see in the video. Use those ones. Anyway, that's it for now. Any questions, comments, anything like that, leave them below. Garage King over and out.